Hey guys, this is Kyle Niz Smith with the first episode of Nizcast. I go by Exiled One in Game. You can see my stats right here. Uh, around 1800 MMR, uh, good KDR, uh, all, all pretty good stats. You can check them out if you want. Um, I've been playing Dota since release. I've been playing Han since release, so I've played this genre a lot. I've played a lot of different games competitively, RTSs, FPSs, whatever. Um, basically what I'm trying to do with Nizcast is trying to make a series of videos that are going to help people become better players. Uh, this first episode is just about um, just using hotkeys and just general, really, really general things. Um, Han just became free to play, um, so let's just jump right into it. Um, I'm just running around here as Magnus in the game. Um, first of all, you've got four abilities. Um, these four right here. Um, first one, the hotkeys are Q, W, E, and R. If you don't use these hotkeys already, you should definitely start learning them. Being able to Q and click to stun is a hell of a lot easier than trying to do it uh, with clicking the actual ability. Um, there's, of course, basic ability commands that exist in pretty much any RTS or any genre of this type. Um, basic move command, which right click will do. Um, right click will also attack an enemy if you click the actual unit. Say if I go to mid here and I click the unit, it will send my guy to attack it. Um, then there's also um, A, which is attack move. Um, so if I hit A and then left click, it will tell me to attack that position. Whenever my hero comes in range to attack anything, he will. I can also tell it to attack a unit, and that will work. And if my one of my allied troops are low, below 50% health, I can tell it to attack that target and it will actually deny it. Uh, what else is there? Okay, there's a uh, hold command, which is H, which if I press H, my hero will not move, it will not engage on anything around it, even if it walks up and starts hitting it, my hero will not do anything. Um, so that's really helpful if, say, Bloodhunter rolls you, uh, you just press H and you won't do anything. Um, then there's the S command, which will tell my hero to stop. So if I tell him to move here and I press S, he'll stop. But if anything comes close, he'll engage on it. Um, this can also be used to cancel abilities. Uh, I'm going to flip over here to Behemoth. So if I go to cast Fissure, I can actually press S to cancel the ability. See? So Fissure doesn't actually go off. If I know I'm going to miss a Fissure, or if I'm playing Pyromancer, or uh, a lot of heroes you can cancel abilities on, you can do this, uh, and it definitely helps. You can hear Behemoth yelling a bunch of times. And let it go. Okay. Uh, so that's uh, the stop command. You can also use it to help last hitting. Um, there's a ton of different uses for the stop command. Uh, but uh, moving on, um, if you want to ping, you can just press Alt and then left click and it will ping. You click anywhere on the screen and it will ping it. Um, you can also you know, click on the minimap. You see in the bottom left, uh, just by pressing Alt and just clicking on the minimap, it will ping anywhere. Uh, so that's definitely very helpful. Um, if you have items in your inventory, um, these also all have hotkeys as well. Uh, let me just buy a bunch of items here. So it's alt. It's the modifier to use a, a uh, inventory hotkey is alt, and then the corresponding position. So it's alt Q W E, and the next row is A S D. So let's say you know I want to go eat a tree over here. Alt Q, click the tree, and they'll automatically use it. Alt Q, click the tree. Alt Q, click the tree. Easy. Um, you can also double tap if you've got it enabled in the options. So say I want to use my health pot. Alt W W, and it'll automatically cast it on myself. Let's do it again. I'll just move my cursor away to show the show you that I'm not actually clicking on my hero. So it's now in the Q position. Alt Q Q, cast it on myself. So that's uh, definitely something you should also get used to uh, using the hotkeys for. It's just way faster than clicking. Um, now there's also something called shift queuing, being able to shift queue abilities. Um, so what you can do with shift queuing is, if I tell my hero to go, let's say here, and then I want him to go here, if I use shift, I hold shift, tell him right click there, and then right click there. He'll go there first, and then there. It's a, just a waypoint. So right click, shift, right click, and he'll go to that spot, and that spot. You can also do this with abilities. Say if I want to move here, and then stun, Right click, shift, Q, click. Boom. Nice and easy. This is also really, really helpful for Magnus. A lot of people screw up his ultimate. The way to do it without screwing up your ultimate when you're using portal key is press R to alt, then shift, alt, Q, click to tell your hero to port. And as soon as the alt finishes channeling, your hero will blink. So. 
and that's it. Don't only miss the first wave. It's the most optimal way of doing it. You can't clip your ability even if you tried. Well, you obviously could if you tried, but you can't if you're doing it this way. You won't clip your ability. This is the best way. I see a lot of Magnuses try to do it. Uh, they try to alt and they're like, okay, if I right click now and start moving. Sometimes they clip it. Their alt gets channel or gets cast or cancelled, and it doesn't go off. Uh, big pain in the ass. Um, another easy hotkey is just the T hotkey, which just allows you to talk in game to your team. Um, that's pretty pretty ba pretty basic as long as you have a mic. Um, the courier. There's no hotkey for this, but if you buy a courier for your team and you place it, so now we got a courier on the ground. If I press this little monkey in the bottom left of my hero portrait, in the top in the top left of the screen, in the bottom left of my hero portrait, click that; it'll automatically share it to everyone on my team. Uh, now control groups. Uh, if I want to set my hero to a control group, I press control and then press the number corresponding to that. So I want to do control one. So now whenever I press one, it'll automatically jump to my hero. So say I'm. Uh, let's do it with the courier as well. Control two. So this is the normal setup I generally have. So say I'm selected on the courier right now. If I press 1, it'll automatically select my hero. If I press it a second time in quick succession, so 1, 1, it'll jump to my hero. 2, hey look, I'm selecting the courier. 1, selecting my Magnus. 2, 2, jump into the courier. Uh, definitely really, really good. You can do this using the tilde key, but this actually works a little bit better. Say you're using uh, Wild Soul and you've got Boo Boo. you got Wild Soul to 1, Boo Boo to 2, courier to 3. There's a ton of different configurations you could use. Um, just mess around with it. It's uh, It takes some getting used to and finding what your perf personal preference is. Um, being able to shop, you can just press B and it'll pop up the shop. Or you can click here, or if you're close enough, there's actually something that comes up. You can click that, or you can actually just physically click the shop. Anyways, uh, so that's really, really easy. Um, obviously, there's hotkeys for buying all the items. I've got them all disabled right now. Um, just for ease of viewing. Um, so you can mess around with those. I'm actually using the old shop as well. I'll leave uh, the command to do that uh, in the description below. Say if I have uh, an item that is in my... Okay. I don't have enough gold. Uh, say I have an item that's in my stash. Uh, the easiest way to move something to your stash and back and forth, as long as I'm in range, control, right click, and it automatically goes back and forth. As long as I'm holding control and right clicking, goes back and forth. How to disassemble an item once it's in your stash? Left click. This only works if um, this only works if the item doesn't have a recipe cost. So you see, Frostburn is just um, a firebrand and an ice brand together. There's no recipe cost. So I can just left click and it'll split. Notice Firebrand and Icebrand each have recipe costs, so I can't um, disassemble those. So that's pretty easy. Um, uh, last thing, uh, how to quickly sell an item. Say, you know, I was running and I accidentally bought, um, let's say I bought, I don't know, let's just pick, let's just say Tangos or Rings of the Blight, whatever you want to call them, and I want to sell them, or if I want to sell any item, Control shift right click. It'll automatically sell it from anywhere on the map. This isn't like Dota, you don't have to be right next to a shop to sell. You can sell from um, nowhere near a shop. Control right click, it's just sold that uh, Frostburn. Anyways, that's it uh, for the hotkeys and everything. I'm going to be doing a second video, um, which is going to focus on hero roles, and then maybe a third one that's going to focus on items, and then the fourth one's probably going to start going on laning. We'll see. Um, feel free to follow me on uh, Twitter. Um, and on YouTube. That would be amazing. If you've got any feedback or anything, please post. Um, or you can also send me an email at uh, niscast at gmail.com. I'll post that all in the description. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.